vision is urban. Lonely, rusty motor, no rolly. Hundred cats in my phone book, and every one of them phone me. I make money off of my BB. Drive around looking naked. Glasses on, I cruise by. Police don't even see me. I get models grabbing up my arm. About sugar coating anything. Uh, basically, the name Don Strapsy was. Um, was preventing me from doing a lot of things in musically. You know what I mean? Business wise it was it was hard to do certain businesses with the name Don Strapsy because what it represents, you know what I'm saying? So um, realistically we saw it as a hurdle from early, like certain shows I was getting, apparently because of my name, they wasn't letting me perform. It'll come to the day, shut the thing off. Oh your name uh, radio didn't want to play. Certain certain DJs wouldn't play it because Don Strapsy. So uh, we just Realise you know it's a problem and I'm a, I'm a man about money man so we thought you know what I'm not going to lose the name it's going to make a new name which I can run with and ain't going to hold me back no, from no business you know what I mean so that's where Drew Blue was born. My name's Andrew I'm from like Lewis and Blue Bar so Drew Blue. Yeah man. Plus all my sticks there. Burst, burst, burst. The business is 80% of the, of the game you know what I'm saying I say it unfortunately um, I think business is more important than the talent in this game to be fair. You know what I'm trying to say? So business is extremely important. Um, if the business ain't right, then you're just hitting a brick wall. So it's very important, you know what I mean? Bags on my wrist, wrist. No, I'm lying, dog ain't rich. But there's still chicks on my dick. Live, this is what we live, man. We, this is not just music. Like, we actually live this, like, 24-7, you know what I mean? So it's not a part-time thing. Like, we take this seriously. This is our life, innit? So um, we're with each other most, most days. If we're not with each other, we're always Every day is business. It's not like I take a day off from music Saturday, let me take a day off, let me go and do something. Like, this is what I do full time. So, and me and him, we both share the same passion. And that's what it comes down to. We both want the same things. We're both passionate about succeeding in music, succeeding in life in general. So, it, that's what it comes down to. That's why the formula is so strong and there's never been. You no, know, of course, everyone has their arguments and has their, their questions and everything. That's, that's a normal business partnership. But we both share the same passion and, and hunger to to make the most out of this thing. We both believe that what I'm doing can go somewhere. So that's where it comes down to. That's why the business is so strong that what we do, you know what I mean? Because we both believe. Like um like I said before, see F64, um I was this close to not even doing it. Like um I told Jamal, oh, you know I don't even want to do it. Like it's, he was the one telling me bro do it, do it. But I was saying I don't want to do it because to me be, uh doing music and being a rapper I was just not not, not in my head at all, like, it was not realistic. At this time I was living a certain way and the last thing I wanted was everyone to recognise my face. So I, felt, I, was, I was bare, like, didn't want to do it. But Jamal's like, bruv, just do it, just do it. So I thought, you know what, cool. My brethren told me, bruv, do it, man. Um, done it. Um, you see, my man was just on a block, man, brought him down to the block and done it. Bruv, and it just, it was a madness after that, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I, I, people knew about me already, but I got fans from different places, like, over the UK, you know what I'm saying? And it was mad, like, people started, I get in, like, that's when Rem was like, bruv, you need to, I didn't, know, I didn't have a Twitter, I didn't have a Facebook, none of them things, you know what I mean? So I was like, man, I had to make a Twitter, Facebook, um, it was mad, it was definitely, like, it didn't change my career, but it, it, it was a, it was a platform that I didn't have, you know what I'm trying to say? It showed me that, like, it put me in a wider audience and more people to know my name, to be able to say, let me do a mixtape now, you know what I mean? So, your team will get moved up with work! Work, work. Obviously, that's all. Of, like, remember, like at the moment, obviously, I got a project in the UK, which is the double or nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the main focus right now. That's at 20th of October, so I need to be here. I need to be in England. But um, yeah, we're definitely going to be um, travelling a lot more. Just came back from Atlanta. You know what I mean? Um, so it's about thinking bigger than the UK, and I definitely want. I definitely want to go, especially Canada. Get loads of love from Canada. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. They 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 f with us, man. They fuck with us, man. They they like our swag. They like our music, so I'm definitely trying to get out there. Um, I've just been, you know, I'm not going to say too much, man, but um, there's a lot of, basically, there's a lot of things coming. So, 2014, we're going to be travelling, you know what I mean? Work, work, work. I'm plus my sticks. See me, I'm a rapper's rapper, man. Um, and for me, America's the home of hip-hop, you know what I'm trying to say? So, um, Atlanta, plus I had uh, Mr. Play, big up Mr. Play. Me, Mr. Play and Rem sat down. And he was saying, look, I'm going out to Atlanta. Um, come, come Atlanta, you know what I'm trying to say? So I thought, yeah, man, definitely where's the home of hip hop. Like, let me see, let me go and explore it and study the culture of rap out there. So when I went out there, 
it was just mad. It was mad. Like UK is so different to America. You know what I'm trying to say? And they show man love. Um, when they realised man can rap as well, I can hold my weight on the tune of an American rapper. Um, but it was it was more it was more a networking thing and an eye opener. I thought let me get out of England for a bit, man. Let me let me study the craft. Like if, if you're a rapper, you need to study where you come from. You know what I'm trying to say where, where, where the music actually comes from. So strip, hey, bruv, it's a madness. <laughs> The strip club things are madness, but out there it's a culture. That's the difference. It's not UK strip clubs are not like US strip clubs. You go to a US strip club, it's man them. You got it's like man them like us, young guys all in the strip club, young girls. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not like you got the old perverts sitting there and I'm trying, trying to dance with girls. And that's where the that's where the music is is blown in the strip clubs. You know what I'm saying? It's a work, work. I said all my brothers work, work, work. I, said I learned a lot out there, man. I studied how they do their things, man. So. Like, you learn things every day, so there's a lot of motivation I got from there. But we keep it British. Don't hear me rapping in no American accent, and that's what they liked. You know, I wasn't trying to be American. I kept, I kept the British thing. Like I won't use. I don't. I, I'm not. Really, I don't really say words like homie and y'all and and what up, what's up. I don't do them things. You know, because I mean? we don't talk like that out here. Yeah, like we don't talk like that on the roads out here. So I don't know why people do them things. And I don't. I rarely, you rarely see me wearing that New York. I don't wear no New York hats and. I try to keep it strictly British in it because that's what we're representing right now. Work, work, work. work. I said all my bitches. Work, work, work. I'm plus all my sticks there. Burst, burst, burst.